Okay, people, my one fan. It's a little update on the 180 gallon aquarium. Doing water changes three, four times a week, about 20 to 30 gallons out of shot. Discus doing well for the most part. Plants are doing well. Most of my plants are doing well, except for the baby tears that I'm actually trying to get to grow to cover the driftwood, as you can see in my plant did tank. And I haven't placed various spots. That one there is doing the best, still doing the same. That one has actually died off a little bit. The other one just about completely died off. I don't have CO2 injection. I use Flourish the mineral supplement. I know they have one that uh, supplements CO2. It's a pretty discus right there. So, is this some type of well-kept secret that nobody wants to comment on? I know even Mr. Saltwater Aquarium did a thing on, <coughs> on discus. I know people are viewing what I'm putting up, but nobody wants to comment. So, basically, it's just a little challenge. You know? Maybe nobody wants to tell me how to grow baby tears. I don't know. That probably would be the American way. Hooray for me and fuck him. Oh, I figured it out and he didn't. Well... If you want to be like that, then be like that. I know people are watching it and uh, have uh, advice or not. I love my little school of neons. They're a lot of fun. In that right snail. Not in that right snail. I don't know what kind of snail it is, but he's huge. He's the size of a golf ball. There's a couple of them in there. But anyway, how does one get baby tears to grow on driftwood successfully? I have a Coral Life light on this tank. I have a wet drive filter. I have a hang on filter. Algae's down to a minimum. Minimum pH is perfect. I'm supplementing with the Flourish. Gonna order the Flourish Excel. There's no that other snail I was telling you about. He's about the size of a golf ball. Come on, people. Little help. I've seen all those aquascape videos out there. People got baby tears growing on everything. Is it all carbon dioxide? You got it? Is it all the CO2 injection? I seriously doubt it. I mean, eventually I'm going to get it and put it in there and do it, but I don't feel like dropping 500 bucks right around Christmas time. But just asking for a little help. That's all. That's all I got. Little update. Just did a water change today. Another 30 gallons. Thank you. Say goodbye.